friends it's your girl and i'm back with another video welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this really beautiful nigerian bridal makeover and gary on my model so keep watching and enjoy this tutorial now let's dive into the makeover So I'm starting off by priming her face with a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Spray and to get her ready for the brows, I'm using the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in the shade NC45 and I'm just going to apply that on her brows and just really blend that out properly. After that, I'm going to take my spoolie and just brush her natural brows and then I'm going to use my Mabrook brow pencil to just get a line underneath her brows like the way I'm doing right now and then I'm going to get another line at the top part of her brows after that I'm just going to use my brow pencil to start getting strokes like hair and that's just to fill in the spaces that I cannot find any hair and just to really make her brows look very very natural and beautiful To define her brows, I'm using the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I'm going to apply that from the middle part of her eyebrows to the end part of her eyebrows. And for the beginning part of her eyebrows, I'm going to use the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Fun because it goes very well with her skin and I really do not want the beginning part of her brows looking all white. I actually want it to look very very natural and i'm going to properly blend it into the light shade To do the top of her brows, I'm using the same concealer in the shade Fun. I could use a foundation, but the concealer is kind of thick and I really want that sharp edge on my brows and the concealer really does it for me. With this new one beauty brush i'm just going to apply some spray on it to make it wet and for proper blending and then i'm going to use it to blend out the concealer
For her crease, I'm using this BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette. I'm taking the darkest pink shade from that eyeshadow palette and I'm just going to pat that at the outer corner of her eyes, just like so. And I'm going to take this yellow shade from that eyeshadow palette and just apply it at the outer crease of her eyes and really, really blend it in with the pink. For eyeshadow primer, I'm using the NYX Jumbo White Pencil. I'm going in with my fingers to properly blend the eyeshadow primer with the eyeshadow because I do not intend to cut a crease because of the way I want the eyes to look. And I'm going in again with the pink eyeshadow palette to really really make it intense because when I was applying the eyeshadow primer it kind of took away some of the pink. Now I'm going in with the bright yellow from this LA Colors 10 Color Eyeshadow Palette. I used my fingers to apply the first layer of the eyeshadow because I wanted it to really really stick to the eyeshadow primer and then I went on with my brush to really blend it in with the pink because I do not want any harsh lines. I picked up my Zikel powder palette and I used the perfect shade for her skin to just smooth out the outer part of her eyes. For her tear duct, I'm using this prestige highlighter and I'm going to go in with the brush to blend it in with the yellow. And for eyeliner, I'm using the Inglot Gel Eyeliner. This eyeliner is like the best that I have ever ever worked with and I really really love it. It's actually really nice guys. You could try it out. So I'm going in to apply some really really beautiful glitter on that eyelid and I'm using the Uber Cheek Glitter in the shade Oga Madame and the glitter glue that I use is actually from Uber Cheek. Now I'm done with her eyes guys so I'm going to prime her face again with the MAC Prep and Prime Spray and I'm using this NYX Liquid Illuminator to give her that glow from within. So 
to correct her face i'm using the la girls pro concealer in these two shades Now for foundation, I'm using the Mary Kay foundation in the shade 507. And to get her perfect shade, I'm going to apply the MAC Full Coverage Foundation in the shade NC45 in the middle areas of her face. To contour her face, I'm using the Black Up House Stick Foundation in the shade Carobe. To highlight her face, I'm using the LA Girls Pro Concealer in the shade Medium Beige. I blended the foundation off camera because I didn't know that my camera went off. This is like the struggle when you're using a Sony camera to film. So please bear with me guys. To set her highlight, I'm using the Airspun Translucent Powder and to set her face, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder in the light shade. To blend all that powder, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Dark.
to set her contour i'm using the mac bronzing powder in the shade matte bronze For blush guys, I'm using the Tara blush palette. Okay, so it's time for the gilly. So guys, what you have to first do is get the middle part of the gilly and then place it at the back of her hair, bring it all the way to the front. When you do that, just drop the other side and pick one side just the way I'm doing. Ask her to hold both sides and then take one side from her and start making your pleat. Make your pleat from one side to the middle and then pleat with her to hold it for you and then complete the pleat at the other side. Take the second pleat the same way, take the third pleat the same way. Depends on how big your ashoke is, you can take as much pleat as you want but because this is like the first section of the gilly, you do not have to take too much pleat. So I think I took like four pleats from this first side. Once you're done with taking the pleats, you have to take the shorter side, try to arrange your pleats to the end and then take it all the way to the back and bring it on top of the other side that she was holding. Bring it forward to this side like so and give it to her to hold. Now you're taking the longer side all the way to where you took the shorter side from and then try as much as possible to pull it out when you are trying to bring it up on the head. When you do so, you now have to start taking your pleats again. You can take your pleat from whichever side you want. All you have to know is that you have to take your time to take your pleats. You can take as much pleats as you want. So I took four pleats and then I made sure that I arranged it properly and made sure that it sleeps perfectly on her head and then I gave it to her to hold. Once I was sure that it was perfect on her head, I went to the back, took the both sides from her and now I'm trying to tie the gilet at the back. I'm really sorry I couldn't record the back for you guys because it was really really late while I was filming this look. I had to just rush this up but I promise you guys I'm going to do a more explanatory tutorial for you guys. So once you're done tying, now it's time for you to finish your pleats. 
you need patience to do this part of the game. You can take your place from the center to both sides or from one end to the other end. Whichever way works for you, you just really have to do it carefully and patiently. So just take your plates little by little and this time around you are not giving gaps like when you were doing from the beginning. You are making sure that you place each plate on each other to increase the height. Mind you guys, if you take two tiny plates, if you take two tiny plates, if your plates are too tiny, when you are trying to arrange it, they might all fall off. So just try to make it not too tiny and not too big as well. I didn't have so much time, so I had to use this method, guys. I know you guys are be used to finishing the plates before tying, but I did not have so much time, so I had to just tie and just quickly do my plates. So this is another method that you could try. This Ashoke is from House of Ashoke on Instagram and the accessories are from Luidio on Instagram. I'm going to put their Instagram handle in the description box. And my beautiful model is at Annelie on Instagram, Annelie underscore O. You guys can go and follow every one of them and show them love. If you notice, I had to loosen the back because at that side I had excess, so I had to loosen the back to pull it in and then I tied it again. To set the brows, guys, I'm using a clear lash glue. This lash glue is the dual lash glue and it is really, really, really beautiful. I just discovered that method and this is like the first time i'm trying it out and trust me i'm sticking to it it's really really beautiful it holds the head up straight to for that finishing and that glow i'm using the prestige highlighter this is my all-time favorite. For her lips, I'm using this new Bam Beauty gloss and this is the only red shade in their new lip gloss set.
so guys i am done this is the look thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure you all love this video please do well to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel do not forget to turn on the notifications so that you do not miss out on other of my videos please follow me on instagram at vicky underscore james i have a new instagram account for my makeup pictures and videos at beauty underscore by vicky james please go and follow these pages and show me some love thank you so much i love you guys and i'll see you all in my next video